In World War I, the National Board of the Colonial Dames empowered their president to write a letter to the president offering three different things. The first was that we present an American flag to the first forces on foreign soil. The second one was that they would raise $50,000, which was a lot of money at that time, to equip hospital ships and they would also take $10,000 from the Treasury in addition to that, uh, so it offering a total of $60,000, and then also that they would produce a book of patriotic songs to sell to help raise money for that cause. It was not real enthusiastically received. She got a letter from the President saying that he certainly appreciated the, the offer, but they would let us know if there was anything that the colonial dames could do. Well, she didn't take that sitting down, and so she contacted the Secretary of War and made the same offer, which he very willingly took up that request. And an American flag was sent to General Pershing, who led the first expeditionary force in France in 1917. She wanted to give the $50,000 to the government. And again, did not get very far with that. It was told that the Red Cross was the recipient for all monies for the war effort. And so be happy to take the money to the Red Cross and then they could use it as needed. Well, that wasn't what the board of directors had directed her to do. So she went to Franklin Delano Roosevelt and told him what she wanted and that shortly got a letter from the Surgeon General saying that they would be delighted to take them up on the offer. They wanted to give money to two naval ships for their hospital rooms and it went to the USS Comfort and the USS Mercy and completely equipped two hospital rooms and there were plaques that were hung in the hospital rooms stating the fact that the money came from the Colonial Dames. But it did not use all the money that they gave them, and so there was extra money left over. Uh, they were asked if that money could be used for laboratory equipment and supplies for other ships. It was used on board the USS Solus to provide that, and they were able to use money for ditty bags for soldiers that had razors and shaving cream and candy bars and just things for all the soldiers. And then the thing that I found very interesting was they kept such good records of the money that was used that in 1925 after the war the Colonial Dames got a check for $35 back for the money that they did not use. As I read through everything that I did, I was astounded at all that the National Society of Colonial Dames has accomplished and how they've supported um, the men and women in our armed services to promote patriotism and also pride in our country. And I think that's something we can all be very proud of.